With all the similarities the Fire Emblem Sword characters share, it can be a bit confusing to understand why the five are generally listed as being spread out across three tiers. So to help clear up that confusion, let's outline the differences that exist between Marth, Lucina, Roy, Krom, and Ike, so you can understand what makes each character unique. Let's first start out with defining the slight changes between Marth and Roy and their Echo Fighters before we start comparing the three groupings. Marth and Lucina have the exact same moveset and have nearly identical animations for all of their normal and special moves that essentially function exactly the same besides one feature. Marth has a sweet spot near the tip of his sword that causes moves to do more damage and knockback when that part of the hitbox connects. Lucina's sword does not have a sweet spot on its hitbox and instead does a fixed amount of knockback and damage no matter where her sword connects with an opponent. Roy and Krom also have very similar movesets and animations, but there are a few more differences between the two than the other pair. The biggest distinction is with their upbees. Roy has a diagonal recovery that is fairly similar to the one Marth and Lucina have. Krom instead has a much more vertical recovery that is much more reminiscent of Ike's ether than his Echo's upbeat. And just like the other pair, their swords also function differently. Roy's sweet spot on his sword exists near the hilt, and he also has a sour spot near the tip, which causes moves to do less damage and knockback when hit by this particular part of a move. Krom's weapon doesn't have sweet or sour spots on it, and instead does a set amount of knockback and damage just like Lucina. Lastly, some of Roy's moves have a fire effect on them, which doesn't really change much except for some niche circumstances like against Red Pikmin, which are immune to fire damage. So with this understood, let's compare the character's base stats. All of this data is sourced from Kuragame Hammer's website, which is an amazing resource that is slowly being filled in with frame data information from the game. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. But back to the data. First we can see that Roy and Krom, who are generally placed in the highest tier out of these five, outclass the other three in every category except for weight, initial dash, and air acceleration. Weight is a pretty self-explanatory character variable, with it determining how much a character is able to resist knockback, with Ike being able to resist the most and being classified as a heavyweight with other characters like Ridley, Wario, and Richter who share his weight. Initial dash refers to the distance a character goes with just a dash input, which, alongside run and airspeed, allows a character to more quickly react to an opponent, such as in a tech chase situation. The difference between Marth and Roy here is pretty minor, and the considerable difference between the two in both air and run speed more than makes up for it. The last variable, air acceleration, which is how quickly a character can reach the top air speed, is another negligible loss for Roy and Krom in a very similar way that initial dash value was. Marth reaches his max air speed slightly faster than Roy and Ike, but they are both able to maneuver much more quickly in the air than him. So when we're going just by the character stats, it makes a whole lot of sense why they're generally ranked Krom, Roy, Marth, Lucina, and then Ike. Before we summarize each character at the end of this video, let's look at the characters' moves side by side. All five characters share a counter as their down B, with Roy and Krom's returning damage at a ratio at 1.35, and Ike, Marth, and Lucina returning that damage at 1.2. Marth's neutral B does massive damage to shields and reaches full charge much quicker than the other two. Roy and Ike's instead do a significant amount of damage as well as slightly damaging themselves at full charge. Ike's charge neutral B also has an absolutely huge range which allows it to be used as an edge guarding tool against characters with linear recoveries. Marth and Roy's side B, which can be varied based on directional inputs during the various hits, function in pretty much the same way. Ike's side B is instead a horizontal attack that can be charged and aids in offstage recovery. Martha and Roy also have very similar diagonal up Bs. Ike's is exclusively vertical, making his recovery with this move much more linear, but it can be mixed up and improved by using his side B in tandem. But it's important to note that moves that push people away, like Pitt's down B, can be used to not allow Ike to grab the ledge. Marth's jab has two distinct sword swings to it, Roy's only has a singular repeated swing to it, and Ike has a three-part punch, kick, and slash combo for his jab. Marth and Roy share their up smash, much like many other moves, while Ike's hits in a half circle around him instead of just straight up. All three can function as kill moves, but Mars is the hardest to use that way because of needing the tipper hitbox. Roy's is a bit easier, as it serves as a multi-hit move, with hit 5 being the one that does significant damage and knockback. And Ike serves as the best kill move, having a large single hitbox that does a substantial amount of knockback. Marth and Roy's f tilt come out in a slightly different arc kind of motion, whereas Ike's is a horizontal slash. Furthermore, Ike and Roy can use their f tilts as KO moves at decently high percents. 
With Up Tilt, the two pairs reversed the roles they had with Up Smash, with Roy and Marth hitting in an arc and being able to use their Up Tilt as a combo tool, and Ike's move that hit straight up being used as a kill move because of its significant knockback. Although all their animations are similar, Ike's down tilt serves as a combo starter as it knocks diagonally up in the air even at low percents, whereas Marth and Roy's only have minimal knockback even at high percents. Danair is a unique case for the three, where Ike and Roy are the ones sharing the animation on a move, as theirs hit straight downward, whereas Marth swings his sword in an arc below him. All of their dares have meteor hitboxes, but they're each a little bit different. Ike's dare has a meteor hitbox near the tip of his sword, Rory has a meteor hitbox near the hilt of his sword, and Mars sword only has a meteor hitbox on its 11th frame. The animations for their uppers do appear visually almost identical, but Rory and Marth use their up air to juggle opponents, whereas Ike's function is one of his kill moves. The last of the unique moves between the three is Nair, with Marth and Roy swinging their swords around them and Ike's sword just being swung forward. The five remaining moves, down smash, forward smash, back air, forward air, and dash attack are essentially all the same moves that only have some slight variations in their animation, speeds, and knockback power. So now that we know the difference between the Echoes and the Originals, the difference in character stats between the three groups, and how their move sets differ, let's quickly sum up these five characters. Let's start with how their swords function. Mars' sword is unique for the bunch because moves that use it have a hitbox near the tip of the weapon that do more knockback and damage. Roy's sword is also unique, having sour spots that do less damage and knockback near the tip of the sword, and sweet spots that do more damage and knockback near the hilt of the sword. The other three fighters have equal damage and knockback across all parts of the hitboxes on their swords. As for main recoveries, Marth, Lucina, and Roy all share a diagonal upbeat, which is generally regarded as superior to the more linear vertical upbeat that Krom and Ike share. The five also have a couple significant differences in their other special moves. Marth and Lucina's neutral B does a significant amount of damage to shields. Roy and Krom share the strongest counter of the five that returns damage at a 1.35 ratio. And Ike has a unique side B that allows him to mix up his recovery options, but it does put him into freefall after it is used in the air. In regards to weight, four of the five sword users are classified as middleweights and are able to sustain a respectable amount of knockback, with Ike being significantly heavier enough than the others to be classified as a heavyweight. Lastly, Roy and Krom lead the five as the speediest overall on both the ground and in the air. Martha and Lucina share the claim to the slowest in the air, with Ike taking third place with his slowness on the ground. And that about completes our comparison of Fire Emblem's five major sword characters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. If there are any other characters you'd like to see an in-depth comparison of, or any ideas for Ultimate content you think would be interesting, leave it down in the comments below. I'd also love to hear what your personal ranking of these five characters and what your reasoning behind that is. I've been enjoying Ultimate a ton, but I still have a huge love for Melee, so expect to see content from both coming out on this channel, especially with the bouts for the top 100 in Melee coming out soon. And I think that about does it for this video. I've been Saves Untitled, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.